for more than 850 years. My father gave me the key when I was eight years old. I am now 55. The Al Husseini family became custodians of the ancient key in 1187 when Muslims seized control of Jerusalem. This is not honor just for our family, it's honor for all the Muslims in the world. We met with a group that included travelers from Las Vegas, Indiana, Pittsburgh, and New York. I wanted to be here to find out about shared values and how the differences amongst us are really not such big differences. Why do we forget that sometimes? Our pride gets in the way. And when our pride gets in the way, we revert to the worst within us. In a region often overflowing with tension, Good night, everybody. this custom of Muslims and Christians working together has become one example of cooperation. Jerusalem is not just for the Christians, it's for the Christians, for the Muslims, and for the Jewish. We are here live together, and we are praying to peace. A message of hope tonight in this holy city. That is the CBS Evening News. We will have much more from Israel tomorrow, including an interview with Prime Minister Netanyahu. I am Jeff Glor in Jerusalem tonight. Good night. On the scene, on the story, News on 6 starts now. Topping our news, an upskirting victim is outraged after learning a man who took a picture of her skirt at a Walmart was charged only with a misdemeanor. He pleaded guilty and got a deferred sentence. She is now challenging lawmakers tonight to update the law and better protect women. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright is on the story only on 6. This law is all about the expectation of privacy. It says if you're in a place where you expect privacy, like a dressing room, bathroom, or tanning